darkness? Why is he left the worst of the nature? Nature never gave pain, suffering, and death to the world. It was man himself who selected death, pain, and sorrow. I wonder if I cannot inspire you to select between good and evil. Let me impress upon you once again that whatsoever your hardships may be, whatsoever your difficulties in life, they are your own selection. And so if you encourage them, if you husband them and take them to your bosom, they will abide with you. Nature will not take them away from you as Mother Nature did not give them to you. She is not responsible for your sorrows. Mother Nature represents all that is beautiful. She gave you the highest personality in the realm divine. Your sorrows are your own. If you want joy, if you want sunshine, it is before you abundantly in nature. I made a selection of sunshine, the beautiful sunshine. I made a selection to laugh with the moon, to laugh with the stars, and sing with the birds of the forest and of the wilderness, to join in the rhythmic music of the winds that sing from east to west and from north to south. Had I selected sorrow, I would have been dead a long time ago and been without that which would send me into the presence of the divine, because I would have lived not with the knowledge that is divine. We must acquire the higher knowledge of life. Black men and black women, will you get the knowledge that the white man has that causes him to be leaders and masters in the world? They are not gods with a peculiar source for understanding the world around them. They have only given expression to the knowledge of their humanity and been able to use and conquer all to their satisfaction and glory. And that is why they are always greater than you in every community that you find them. Isn't it strange that wheresoever the white man is found, he takes precedence over you? Why is that so? Answer that for yourselves, black men and black women. Wheresoever you come in contact with the white man, you always have to go down in defeat before him. Whether it be in England, in France, or in America, you always have to go down to the white man, and yet he has two eyes, two feet, two hands, same passions, same senses and feelings as you have. Your feet are not put on opposite sides, now your hands turned around the other way. But it's because you fail to use your will, your knowledge, and your mental faculty to the point where you will enjoy life around you. I'm only here and not in the gutters and in the pond of despair because I use my intelligence. And I swear that no man alive shall ever use his intelligence in understanding the works of nature more than I. I shall rise as high as he ascends. I shall meet him on the same platform of mental equality and fight him till thy kingdom come because nature created us equal. I want you to make up your mind as I made up my mind years ago. Make up your mind that you will rise to the knowledge of your soul. Because of your ignorance, you cannot understand and decide between good and evil. You don't know whether you're doing right or wrong. With a greater knowledge of life, you're able to appreciate all things around you. I'm able to gather you here because I understand you. Understand your neighbor, your wife, your children, and you will be able to live in harmony with each other and get the best of the life. Two stations of construction. This is where we are now, Little London and one in Grange Hill. Um, they are proceeding at this time at a good pace. Prior, they had some delays in start up, which they have overcome and are moving along now. We are monitoring it very closely because we need the station in Westmoreland. Westmoreland is a parish that has seen some increase in 
criminal activity and we have had to deploy more personnel in West Ballon. And the quality of the station that existed here for many years was way below standards for police officers. Uh, some of them were old houses of different things, old buildings, some I call old bush houses that used to be in cane fields, this was appropriate for police officers. And those who were there before I find out to take some response for it. The main station, of course, in Salama is an old building built in an area where the water table is extremely high and has to be replaced and gave instruction to have it re relocated. And the government agreed and finance provided, but there has been a tedious procurement process and we won't break ground until maybe December of this year. Um, the conditions there are definitely inappropriate and un unacceptable for occupancy by officers and we are looking at how we can find alternative location. The old building itself may be refurbished, will be refurbished to accommodate a Savma city police station. But we are building a divisional headquarters at a site we stop where there is currently a forward operating base for the JDF at Land Dialo, but we are building a full divisional headquarters at that station. The total expenses will be quite significant. These stations are two small stations are earmarked to cost about 200 million dollars start of course by the time they are finishing maybe additional costs and of course cost of furnishing etc and you understand we all our station will be fitted with appropriate equipment for police connectivity in particular um, critical for modern policing so there will be additional costs to that and the main station set we are looking at is currently about about 2.5 billion dollars expect to go beyond that so we are investing in building in appropriate infrastructure for the police in West Milan and across Jamaica. We have been working assiduously uh, since we have received report of this you know, really outrageous incident which occurred in a quiet rural farming community in the parish. Uh, you know, the entire country has been shocked and rightfully so. Uh, since then, we have taken two persons of interest in custody. Uh, we have been working assiduously to locate a third person who we believe the public can assist us in locating. He is Tyrese Brown, OC Sheetman, OC TJ, from an all side district address in the parish of Chelani. We believe that this man can assist us in advancing our investigation. Consequently, we are imploring him to come into us here at the Falmouth Police Station and uh, speak with us. Uh, he may do so if he so desire with his attorney or any reputable member of the community, pastor, justice of the peace. Uh, we also would like to, you know, uh, dispel some of the rumors that have been going on around in you know social media as it relates to family members being involved in this bizarre incident i must point out categorically that so far there is nothing in our investigation that implicates any member of the family in this very very heinous crime uh, so we we'll ask persons to desist from doing so because in doing so you may put innocent persons lives at risk and we are not into that. Right now, the focus should be on finding the perpetrators who were involved in the murder of young Jamelia Cole and you know, the injury of her mother and cousin. Uh, that's, in, in our opinion, is where the focus should be. With that said, we are still appealing to members of the community who can assist us, to assist us with the investigative process. We strongly believe, based on where we are in our investigations, that there are persons in the community who are in possession of information that is able to assist us in this regard. There is a theory that we have in relation to the possible cause of this incident, but at this point we would like to hold that back pending further investigation. We would not like to disclose that, but we can say um, that at this juncture, there is nothing at all to indicate that any family member was involved in this gruesome act.